David and Kelsey, can you believe this? The countdown's finally over. Your family and closest friends are gathered here in this beautiful place, and they're gathered here for the two of you to witness this culmination of what is your love story. I was a stranger in the crowd You were a star up in the clouds And when our eyes they finally met I could see our story months ahead You met his children in fourth grade when David transferred to Christa McAuliffe and was put into the same class as Kelsey. You didn't think Kelsey liked you that much, and you were right. Uh, her first impression of him was not that great. I always had a soft spot for the underdog, and David just seemed a little bit too self-assured. Kelsey and David reconnected in high school, where Kelsey's opinion of David began to change, and you were assigned seats next to each other in Spanish class. And while the teasing continued, something deeper was developing. David, you started to give Kelsey rides home from school, and they turned into long drives around the block because you weren't quite finished with your deep conversations or playful banter. Although you originally thought that you were very different from each other, you began to realize that you had the most important and foundational things in common. And your love for each other has been apparent to me ever since we were kids. And above all, your willingness to support each other and sacrifice for the good of the other is unprecedented. You show me worlds I never knew. Turn my darkness into You have known each other from the very first glance of acquaintance to this point of commitment. At some point you decided to marry, and from that moment of yes to this moment of yes, indeed you have been making small promises and agreements in an informal way. All these conversations that were held in car rides, over the years, over a meal, and during long walks, all those sentences that began with when we were married and continued with, I will, and you will, and we will. Those late night talks, that included someday, somehow, and maybe, and all those promises that were unspoken matters of the heart. All these common things and more are the real process of a wedding. The symbolic vows you're about to make are just a way of saying to one another, you know all those things that we've promised and hoped and dreamed. Well, I meant it, and I meant every word. Look at one another and remember this moment in time. Before this moment, you've been many things to one another. Acquaintance, friend, companion, dancing partner, and even teacher. For you've learned so much from one another in these last 10 years. And now you shall say a few words that take you across the threshold of life. And these things will never quite be the same between you. For after these vows, you shall say to the world, this is my husband, this is my wife. I, David, take you, Kelsey, to be my wedded wife. To have and to hold, from this day forward, for better or worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, for as long as we both shall live. I, Kelsey, take you, David, to be my wedded husband, to have and to hold, from this day forward, for better or worse, for richer or poorer, in sickness and in health, for as long as we both shut it. It is my esteemed privilege to pronounce that you are now husband and wife. David, you may kiss your bride. And now it's my honor to present to you for the very first time 
this room is David and Kelsey Shirazi. <laughs>